we received a lot on this topic, which I, I really didn't expect it to blow up the way it did. Uh, so on our Facebook group page, we asked a question to take a video game title and turn it into a porno title. But the trick here was the less vulgar it is, the better, which, I mean, I was surprised because I was expecting it to go horribly wrong and we ended up getting kicked off of Facebook. But it actually turned out pretty great, so I, I must say that that I'm I'm pleased. Were you uh, uh, pleased with the results, Ignacio? Well, yeah, I was surprised, uh, especially. <laughs> We're gonna mention names. Hey, that, go go for it. Yeah, go for it, man. Just do it. <laughs> well, William Volk, you have a creative mind. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. Uh, so throughout the show, we're gonna be talking about some of these names. Um, let me read off a couple. Uh, so one of the first ones that we got was Bioshocker, which I guess is like the Shaka, you know, like that, you know. That's 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 <laughs> that'd be great. It'd be like the um, well, the think about it. Trying to do that, like it's like it's it's a reference to an orgasm, basically. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> there's the way, we're we're doing this on Valentine's Day. This is our Valentine's Day episode. Yes, Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> At least Ignacio has a has a lady in the background. I I don't I don't keep them in my house. <laughs> Damn, dude, what are you a pimp? <laughs> hey, I didn't say that. This is being recorded, so come on. Oh, now. okay, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, let's not get this twisted. Uh, uh, uh another contributor wrote in, uh, Warcraft Two: Red Tides of Darkness. Now, the beginning, I didn't have a problem with it. No, it's the second part. Red tides of darkness. I mean, we already have a football, a college football team called the Crimson Tide, and now we have red tides of darkness. I don't like the the visual that that brings up, but yeah, that that kind of. I mean, he even said that he thought it's a it's a fetish video, niche audience. Oh, that's a fucked up niche audience. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> yeah. Well, you gotta know your marketing, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. What else we have? We have uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Darkest Dungeon. Okay. Well, Darkest Dungeon is already a, a fetish video. <laughs> oh, how, and how, you know this how? Come on, dude. Oh, I, hey, hey. I'm just. I'm trying to get you educated. Gotta be, too. You gotta be educated. Oh, okay. All right. You gotta do some field research. I I just like one of them uh, wrote in just Donkey Kong, which is the actual name. But yeah, if you think about it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, the Japanese man, they know what to do with the Donkey Kong. Cause... Well, they know what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to read more of these. Uh, thanks to everybody who goes to our Facebook group and contributes. I mean, it's it's been great. A lot of you have come in. Uh, some of you guys didn't understand why you were there. We had to help you out in the only way that we can. But thanks Sorry. for all the – yeah, we're trolling. Yes, that's pretty pretty much yes. Uh, but thanks to everybody who is giving us all this great content and answering our questions. We're going to continue to do that. But uh, another one of our contributors brought up a, a good point that we wanted to talk on, and they were talking about, like, the span of how – games is and you know this if you're into gaming you're probably going to end up reading some kind of gaming message board comments maybe reddit or something like that and you'll see like people complaining well we all know that gamers in general are just going to end up complaining about things because that's well, just especially what especially if it's on reddit basically oh yeah reddit is like <laughs> it's like 99% just complaining i mean <laughs> good good lord uh, but you know you have people will talk about oh something's the worst ever, or this is a bad time in gaming because of certain things. Maybe they're upset because of the way Xbox launched, or they're upset about downloadable content, or something like that. But sometimes what happens is, especially if you're an older gamer, you get into these ideas where back in the day was better, and it was so great, and now it's so horrible. And I think what happens is people put on those little rose-colored glasses and forget it's what it's like. You know, it's like when I think about EverQuest. I mean, back in the day, I had a lot of fun playing that game, but let's face it, a bunch of the time, you're sitting there just in a room waiting for a waiting spawn. For shit. Yeah, and then it may not spawn, or I'll spawn a placeholder, and then even if it does spawn, it may not drop what it's supposed to do. Could you imagine people putting up with that today? But if you talk no. about it back then, not it's like, oh, that was great. 
Well, yeah, I mean, pretty much what what they don't remember is they don't remember the waiting except of like, oh man, remember waiting, but it was okay because we were talking, you know, about shit on uh on TeamSpeak or Ventrilo for for a while, and it's like, yeah, that was the part that made it manageable. But if if you have to do that shit by yourself, you might as well take out a gun and blow your brains out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and, and the thing is, is that there's so many games. And that came out back in the day, even game systems where you didn't have the access that you have now to just be like, oh, let me let me look at and you can look at this gameplay video, you can read the review, you can learn so much about the game before you actually get it and get a demo. I mean, think about back in the day when you didn't have that, there was no demos. I mean, remember back in the day you would actually go, and this is more for computer people, but you would go and you would buy a magazine that had demos in it. And that was like one of the major reasons why you bought it because you would get that demo. And you were like, oh my God, I got this. De-. I mean, people would like hold it up like it was a trophy so they could get those. And you know, some of the demos were like, eh. And every once in a while you'd get a good one. I mean, I, I guess I kind of missed that a little bit just because that was kind of fun getting it. But in the end, I mean, how much were those back then? Like 450, which was expensive if you think about yeah, it. Yeah, but a game was also expensive. That's true. And, and uh, <laughs> well, also uh, think about this. I mean, if you want to look at that regarding the consoles, people could get Nintendo Power, but then, like, you know, probably Nintendo Power gets up, gave something like Castlevania too, like a, I don't know, like a ninety percent or something. Yeah, you. Think and then you're playing, and you're like, "What the fuck? What a horrible night to have a, a curse!" Well, fuck you too. <laughs> yeah, you you think that they were just a little bit biased? I mean, just a little bit. I mean, I, I think so. I mean, think about back in the day when you had Blockbuster and you would go rent a game from Blockbuster and yeah. you would look at the back cover. And, I mean, it wasn't even always representative of what the game was like. So you would look at the back cover and you'd be like, this looks like it's good, but it'll be like artwork. It's like some of those old Atari cartridges that, oh, yeah. you know, they didn't have gameplay. It was just artwork. And you're like, wow, Yars Revenge. Look at that cool looking like insect <laughs> alien thing. And you get it home and it's like, eh, 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 eh. <laughs> yeah. I've been fooled too many times from by Blockbuster, man. I Never mean, trust marketing. That, that's what you need to learn when you were a kid. <laughs> 